Now in this video, we're still going to be finding the area of triangles, but rather than using a half times base times height, we're using the second method on this sheet, which is this one here. Okay, now if we've got two sides of a triangle, so if we know say uh, this side and this side and the angle that's in between them then we can use this formula to find the area of the triangle and this involves sine so you might have seen sine in the past when you were doing trigonometry so these two examples we can see have an angle in the triangle with two side lengths so that's going to be a a, a, a prompt for you to, to, uh, to understand that okay I need to use the second method for these triangles it's relatively simple so let's have a go at it so first off the area A is equal to a half multiplied by one of the side lengths it doesn't matter which order you go in I'll go 6.4 that side length multiplied by this one 7.2 multiplied by the sine of the angle in between okay so if you're having any trouble for locating sine and, and inputting that into your calculator Make sure you ask me how to do that in class. Uh, so you might want to pause the video at this stage and try and calculate this and see what answer you get. Okay, so the answer that I'm getting is 10.82. I'll go to two decimal places. And of course that's an area, so square centimetres for that one. Okay, so the next one's a little trickier, but it involves the same sort of working out, same formula. Uh, you might want to pause the video at this stage and have a go at it on your own, although it does have a little twist to it. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at this now. The rule uh, here is that we have two side lengths, and if we're going to use this formula to find the area of the triangle we need to know the angle that's in between so we need this angle here so we don't have that angle at the moment but we do have a way of calculating it uh, you might want to pause the video and try and think about how to do that the clue is three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees Okay, so that means this angle in between, and I'll give it a different name, I'll call it theta, actually I shouldn't do that, should I, because we're calling this C, that sign, that the angle's called C, so that'll do, I'll call it C. Now C is equal to 180 and if we subtract the other two sides, we get C. 180 take 82 and 38. So that gives us that C is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so now if you're feeling more confident, go ahead and see if you can find the area. Okay, now I'm going to have a go at it area for this one equals a half times the side length 7.3 by 5.4 doesn't matter what order you do it in multiplied by the sine of 60 okay so see if you can get the answer for this one pause the video if you like and I get 17.07 .07 
in this case, square metres. Look in the description for the questions you need to try to practice these skills.